Hey, welcome back to Impossible. Next up, I have Scorpios. Where are my possible Scorpios at? Okay, it is 1.42 in the morning, and I'm doing a reading. So, seven. Seven is your number to pay attention to. That means huge blessings are on the way. New opportunities. Okay, so, but look at the number seven. Seven is your number. Lucky number seven. A lot of blessings setting your way. Where is my angel deck? Um, oh, let's begin. I am tired and I'm working, so you guys are working tirelessly like yourself. Okay, trying to get that money. You guys are hustling right now. All right. <laughs> so, yes. So, let's begin, Scorpios. Oh. Yeah. 33 is 6, following your intuition. Some of you guys may be 33 years old. Some of you guys may be done with a Taurus or have Rising Moon or Venus. Or your North Node in Taurus. Taurus is all about luxurious life, hard workers, okay, grounded oneself, stability, responsibility. Yes, home life. Some of you guys may be married out there. Okay, yes, but whatever you're doing, you're walking, you're stepping in, you're stepping out confidently. Things being illuminated to you, okay. Planning carefully, all right, embarking on a new journey, working in silence at this time, implementing your ideas. Some of you guys may work in a library, doing research at this time, going back to school, studying for an exam. Okay, some of you guys may be going back to school for your master's degree, PhD. Okay, some of you guys may love to work out as well. Green may be your favorite color, but it's all about your Benjamins at this time and planning carefully, moving forward. All right, but as Waddell, angel of patience. So everything, spirit wants you to be patient. Everything is happening in divine timing. Okay, so patience. Easy does it. Slow and steady wins the race. But inner peace. So finding that inner peace. Next best step. Again, you're planning carefully. Your next move. Okay, but it's like plan A, plan B, plan C. So if plan A doesn't work out, you got plan B. Develop plans. Yes. Some of you guys may have Virgo in your chart as well because planning carefully. Analytical details. Attention to details. Okay, dotting your I's and crossing your T's. Cautious though, but you're being cautious. See, so you're holding your you're holding your ideas to yourself. You're not sharing. You're working in silence and working by yourself. Okay, some of you guys may be entrepreneurs and unruffled. Okay, so you're not uh, allowing anybody to bother you at this time. You're maintaining your peace and in isolation, but working, working, working hard. Okay, I help time, patience, and planning be your allies when you contend with annoying details or complex situations. Watermelon turbine line April, which is next month, and wait. So something significant happened in April, but 33 is 6, so it's following your intuition. So 6, 7. Okay, 6, 7 is 13, 13 is 4, which means responsibilities, your home, your children, your bills. Yes, domesticated matters. Okay, but yeah, those are your numbers. All right, let me get your affirmations. All right, some of you guys may love to listen to love songs, write music, R&B. You guys are networking right now. I do see communication coming in. Some of you guys may be going on vacation, live in a foreign country or overseas or somewhere tropical. All right, but this is all about self-care, vitamin C, orange, but taking care of yourself. Some of you guys may be makeup artists out there, love to do your makeup or something in cosmetology, um, beautifying, beauty field, work in the beauty field. Okay, yes, but self-love, self-care, take care of oneself. I am full of gratitude, and I do see you guys moving forward, going on road trips, okay? Some of you guys may live in a big city like myself, like a metropolitan city, uh, California, Chicago, New York, okay? Yes, the cassette tape. Some of you guys may be music lovers, music artists, okay? Listen to old school music, all right? Some of you guys may drive a Cadillac, but I am full of gratitude. So, yes, being grateful for, for what you have. Life, every day is a new day to start over, but I do see you networking and working. Traveling, working, working, working. On the grind right now. Okay, let me get another affirmation for you guys. I am fully aligned with the present. I am fully aligned with the presence. So get aligned, finding balance, finding that inner peace, okay? But aligning with oneself, okay? Coming to, coming, uh, transforming into your authenticity, becoming that authentic, genuine person, okay? Walking in your truth, there you go. Walking in your truth, okay? Let me get a fortune cookie for you.
friendships, developing friendships, but a friend may need your help here, okay? A friend needs your help. Your kindness and excellent counseling skills will put them back on track. Some of you guys are counselors out there, um, work in the medical field, um, do your humanitarian duties, but yes, a friend may need your help, okay? Spirit says to pick one more, so I'm gonna pick one more. And love. Loving yourself first, but love is in the air. <laughs> Definitely. Somebody traveling towards you. Love is in the air. A great time for commitment and taking relationships to the next step. Some of you guys may be getting engaged, or some of you guys are married already. Okay, but uh, friendships developing into love, but getting aligned with one another. Okay, some of you guys are awakening to your truth, and this person may be unawakened and awakening to this love. Okay, let's see how this plays out. I'm excited. All right. Um, yeah, let me get your moon card. I hate these cards. But a personal issue reaches a resolution. Okay. So you may, you guys may have moon in your cancer or maybe dealing with a cancer or have rising moon of Venus or your north node in cancer. But a personal issue reaches a resolution. Okay. And have faith in your dreams. Believing in your dreams. Again, with the butterfly, you're going through your transformation. I do see abundance on the horizon for you, but you guys are working tirelessly. But have a faith in your dreams. Don't give up. Don't stop. Okay? Yes, that's what I heard. Yes, listen to your intuition at this time. Again, six. Follow your success. Meditate brings answers. So a personal, a personal issue reaches a resolution. Meditation brings answers. Okay? Yes. Choose a new direction. You're going in a new direction. I do see you guys traveling. Okay? Pay attention to the signs and synchronicities at this time. Your dreams, your visions, what people say to you. You guys are very intuitive. No need to worry. Okay? And everything is happening in perfect timing. Like I said, divine timing. Okay? So some of you guys need to still need to release. All right? You guys are releasing or need to release. Okay. But everything is happening in perfect timing and spirit is saying no need to worry so everything give it surrender all your money like money issues career issues everything that you're fearful that you're lacking surrender it because have faith believe in your dreams round and around so you feel like you're going in a circle but here's the thing when that let go card some of you guys need to break old karmic cycles with people but 25 is 7 again so huge blessings are on the way okay yes all right, but there's there's a lesson that you need to learn again star seeds but i do see everything that you're manifesting is coming to light all right so keep in faith and be hopeful yes yeah, somebody here is very nostalgic about you as well but some some of you guys feel like you're going around and around and you can't break the cycle but i do see you releasing it and breaking the cycle okay learning lessons and moving forward and i do see your blessings coming in as well okay but getting rid of those karmic people karmic relationships karmic karmic just karmic anything all right but love is in the air and you're getting aligned at this time adventure is going on vacation and i do see flowing everything flowing in your life abundance love okay everything balance balance being restored luck okay yes but adventures embarking on a new journey. Some of you guys may love to travel. Okay. But I see traveling. Yes. Moving away. Blessings. What I told you about number seven. Blessings. So your blessings are definitely on the way. Yes. Going in a new direction. Pleasure. Doing what pleases you. Okay. Abundance. Like I said. Not only in money, but taking that leadership role. Okay. Being very cold. And you're going through your transformation. Be prepared for miracles like i said all right so don't worry this is gonna be it's 
it's gonna be the bomb. So you're going through your own transformation, you're going, you're entering into a new cycle, an old cycle is closing out, a new cycle beginning, you're shedding old skin. Okay, you're taking the lead in your life. Some of you guys may be supervisors getting promoted, but polar bear, you're very cold with it, and you're not allowing anybody to get in your way. Okay, yes, and abundance, you're focused on your money at this time, but abundance in health, wealth, home life, children. Yes, abundance, love. Blessings coming in. Blessings. I told you. Overflowing. Uh, overflowing of blessings. It's getting ready to come into your life. Okay. Where's my pen? Alright. I have my pen. But uh, overflowing of blessings is coming into your life, guys. Alright. I don't know what happened to my pen. But, yeah. Some of you guys are looking for something that you can't find. But it's right in front of your face. Wisdom, yes, a friend needs your help, your wisdom. So sharing your wisdom, some of you guys, again, maybe counselors are being called, called to be counselors. With the owl, you guys are very intuitive, psychics, oracles, tarot readers, yes. But your spirit animal may be the owl, but again, you're paying attention to your intuitions. But wisdom, have you ever been told that you're wise beyond your years? You guys may be old souls, but you guys are definitely wise, okay, and very intuitive. Now is the time to call upon your inner fairy wisdom to help you with a challenge, okay? But somebody is going to need your help with a challenge, a friend, okay? But be careful with who you give your energy to at this time because you guys are empaths, an inner child, Okay, yeah, some of you guys may be pregnant, but healing in a child, in a child, in a child hood wounds. But the fairies of playfulness remind you to make time to embrace your inner child. Play keeps us young at heart. Do something silly and fun, but stay safe. So have a little fun, okay? Yes, live a little, live a little, okay? Not everything is work, 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 work. Find some time to play, okay? Yes. safe and secure again something around your home building a safe and secure home for your children okay but that's what you're about your stability your responsibility tease at this time yes moves positioning yourself of power to wow again leadership i'm telling you some of you guys may need bodyguards or have bodyguards okay because you're in you're positioning yourself of power. Yeah, ask. There's going to be a breakthrough, but you're cutting people out, cutting things out. But you need to rest and retreat at this time. Some of you guys may love candles or do candle work, but it's all about tapping into your creativity. Okay, water jug, drink your water. But fertility as well, cardinal messages from spirit. So pay attention to your um, dreams. <clears throat> Some of you guys may be clear audience. You could hear things, but yeah, don't think you're crazy. Some of you guys may be dealing with a cardinal sign, Capricorn, Aries, Cancer, or a Libra, but pay attention. Okay, again, some of you guys may be pregnant, but tapping into your creativity, giving birth to new ideas, but I see that you guys need rest. Okay, so rest up, guys, but there's going to be a breakthrough. Like I said, miracles, blessings, okay, abundance. <clears throat> so keep going, but find time to play, okay, pamper yourself. Take time out to yourself. Eleven. Take the lead while working with others on a new project at work or a, at a charitable, a charitable event, which means that you guys are gonna be getting a promotion or you guys are leaders already, but you're taking the lead in your life, okay? 
<clears throat> Being that boss entrepreneur. 50 50. Use intuition and curiosity to help you live your best life, as well as to help and inspire others who may need you. A friend's going to need your help, wisdom. But using your intuition, your psychic abilities, or, you know, tarot readings, oracles, yeah, but 30 30. Meditate, pray, clear your mind, and practice gratitude. Again, gratitude. It's time to get closer to the divine and tap into your gifts. You're, trans you're going through a transformation process at this time, okay? But a lot of blessings heading your way. Yeah, you got a lot of evil eyes on you at this time. Protect your energy. Somebody's having a hard time speaking up here. Somebody wants to speak up, but they're having a hard time to speak up about needing your help. <clears throat> yeah, catfish. Be careful with online dating, but I'm going to see who's catfishing you. Yeah, but I do see you traveling. You're getting a new perspective. You're moving on. Okay. Yes, you're seeing things from a higher perspective. Yeah, tar reading, what I told you. Some of you guys may be tar readers or get tar readings, but judgment, Scorpio Sagittarius, people are getting their karma. You guys may have a sleeve or learning tarot. You guys may have gray hair or the gray look. But you guys are definitely some type of tar reader. Yeah, be careful with blackmail, okay? Black, somebody trying to blackmail you. Yeah, but dead, you're going through a transformation, Scorpio. You may be a double Scorpio, but you're putting things to an end. Somebody may have passed away, okay, that was close to you. All right, somebody, be careful with somebody trying to blackmail you out of property or money, I heard. Yeah, stuck in the past. Again, you need to release and let go, but somebody's stuck on you. This may have been a third-party situation, but very, somebody's very nostalgic about you. Yeah, jumping to conclusions. Mm-mm. So somebody didn't get their facts straight and they're jumping to conclusions without all the information but you're very guarded right now some of you guys may carry a gun be in some type of military but pay attention to the signs and symbols you're going through the purification process at this time yes yeah, black magic yeah <clears throat> what else do i need to know from this deck spirit <clears throat> thanksgiving you may be dealing with a sagittarius but it's like finding that comfort at home. Some of you guys may sell drugs or be addicted to drugs. Some type of pill popping. Okay, but some of you guys may love turkey or turkey wings, but <clears throat> somebody's having problems with their throat chakra. Some of you guys may be dealing with some, uh, a police officer, but jump into conclusions. Okay. Let's see who's this catfishing you. Some type of life insurance, yeah, two of wands. Somebody that's looking at you, okay? They're trying to plan something. It's like creating fake profiles just to keep an eye on you. For some of you guys, you guys are already out there, like social media stars, okay? Or just have like a platform where you have a lot of followers. But yeah, somebody is gaining like a new perspective. I see that you let go of this. You guys are not in communication with this person. This person is like just keeping an eye on you. This person is in love with you. You may have a child with this person. <clears throat> but follow your intuition when it comes to this person. Yeah. The Nine of Cups. This person sees you as their everything. Yeah, Page of Wands. They want to come in with some type of message to start over. They, they're very passionate about you. This this is somebody secretly in love with you. Okay? Yes, yeah, secretly in love with you. King of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Yeah, right now they're trying to get their finances right, but this person left you on read. This is somebody that ghosted you once upon a time. Okay? They're trying to come in. They're trying to figure out a way how to come in to rebuild this with you. But they're trying to get their finances right. Yeah, Eight of Cups. This is somebody that walked away, that you walked away from, that's coming back around, that kept you as an option. You gained the clarity and walked away from this. But this person wants to come in and 
you know, they're getting a reality check. They're they're snapping out of it, but they know that you are the one for them. Yeah. This is your two of cups. This person finds you to be their true love, their soulmate, their two of cups. And they're just they're not gonna give up on this connection. They're not. Okay. This person was possibly acting immature at one time. They're not they weren't investing in this connection. They were only breadcrumbing, but it's like as soon as you cut them off, they realize that they love you. So I have heavy Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio here. Water sign. Yes. They're just looking at you, planning a return. They're stuck on you. They're stuck in the past. Okay, getting tower readings into your life to see what you're doing. Okay. Let's see what this... Yeah, but you put an end to this. Okay, but they find you to be home. They may have jumped to conclusions when it came to you, misjudged you. All right, but you're very guarded with your heart right now. Okay, so let's see what this blackmail is about. You're going through your own transformation and rebirth. Three of wands came out funny but this is somebody that is arrogant they looking at you as like an opportunity but yeah ten of cups in reverse this is a broken family okay yeah a lot of backstabbing in your own family an, un an unhappy home domestic disputes okay painful endings here yeah but you're still standing strong it's like somebody trying to bribe you out of money somebody's trying to tell your secrets yeah a lot of fighting yeah a lot of fighting a lot of fighting a lot of competition as well but somebody trying to sabotage you is a power struggle <clears throat> yeah knight of swords a lot of gossiping too Something that was found out online that they're doing it. Yeah, three of, three of cups. Possibly a third party situation, but I do see people working against you. People working against you. Here is a group of them. And it's a family dynamic having to do with children, a broken home for some of you guys. Yes, they're trying to say that you're a bad parent. Okay, yes, a, in a home situation, a family situation. Yes, this is causing you anxiety. You're stuck in your head about this okay and there's a over property as well there's a home and property so you may be living with your family yeah i do see some type of eviction some of you guys are financially not doing well but you're very defensive but spirit is protecting you at this time yep it wasn't a balance in a home situation when it comes to finances you were dealing with somebody that's co codependent use drugs it was a burden on you with the ten of wands Okay, but right now you're trying to build your strength and move past this. I do see you're going to get victory out of this. And brighter days ahead, Six of Swords, you're moving forward to calmer waters. Okay, yes, but this is, this is a group of people working against you. And, you know, somebody's going to their family. Their family's working against you. Your family's working against you. I do see somebody getting evicted or kicked out of a family home. Okay, but if you're in a long-term relationship, I don't see that as an, as, as an even give and take. I see that you're doing most of it. And you're dealing with a karmic partner that you need to let go of. But this partner is like trying to blackmail you in some kind of way with some type of like, you know, you're a bad parent. They do everything. And yes, scheming on your money, stuff like that. Okay. Be careful with your kids at this time, please. But it's like fighting over property, fighting over children, fighting over home, like money. Yeah. Who does this? Who does that? Yeah, but somebody with unconditional love is coming in, definitely. Yeah, there's a lot of drama around you, gossiping. Uh, but cleanse your energy at this time. You have a lot of haters around you. Yeah, there we go, drama. Yeah, drama, drama, drama. Thirsty, causing chaos. In a connection, don't want to see, yeah, anxiety. Okay, scared, panicked, on the flip, trying to look you up, but spirit is blocking them. 
yeah, on the table, offer a proposal commitment. I do see you guys getting proposed. I do see a, pro a job proposition, okay? Yes, a lot of haters at, around work as well. Be careful who you tell your business to, obsession. Be careful with overindulgent and sweets, but must have indulgent. Somebody is obsessed with you here. I'm gonna see who this is. And triggers, name card, and place. Somebody's coming towards you drastic, but I do see you cutting people off. But there's definitely a soulmate coming in. Okay, your manifestations are coming in, but somebody's wishing and praying for your return, longing for you. But everything that you're hoping and wishing for, stay in faith, is coming if you believe. There are a lot of drama around you, a lot of gossiping. Okay, especially on internet, I do see internet bullying. Eight of Pentacles. This soulmate that's coming in, you may meet this person at work, but this is person, this person is a hard worker. Okay? Yes. Queen of Swords. This may be a Aquarius, Gemini, or a Libra. This person is headstrong. This person is very intelligent. This person is head over heart, self-sufficient, honest. Okay. This person may work in the law, be some type of lawyer, police officer. Yeah, but this person is like law and order. You may be a police officer as well or work in the law. Yeah, but this may be a same-sex relationship, Queen of Cups. This may be a same-sex relationship, but this person is very loving. Um, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. This person is very loving, very caring, very supportive, nurturing, intuitive. Yeah, the star. Okay, this person is going to be healing to you. You guys are going to heal each other. The star is Aquarius, all right? But this is something that you hope for, and I do see building off of each other or rebuilding if you know this person. Yeah, there's a big proposition coming in. This person wants to move in. Yeah, this is something that you've been manifesting for yourself with the magician, Gemini, okay? A destined partner with a fortune. This may, this person may be an Aquarius, a Gemini, Libra, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, like yourself, but I do see this is something that you manifested yourself for yourself. And I do see marriage engagement moving in, buying a house, and working well together. Okay? Soulmate. Yeah, I do see a proposal, commitment on the table, but a promotion as well. Somebody's obsessed with you, though. Obsessed, spying on you. Okay, there's a lot of people obsessed and spying on you. Gossiping. Eight of Wands. This person wants to come in with communication. Possibly a uh, King of Pentacles, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Okay, yes, this person may be married for some of you guys, but this person is like uh, grounded, a father or a mother figure. A stable kind of person. Yeah, Queen of Wands. Oh, okay. Again, this person may be married. You may be married. You may have been the other person, or they may have. I'm just saying, this person is obsessed with you. They're spying on you. They want you. They can't get enough of you. They see that you're confident. You're courageous. You're creative. You're out there. You're determined. Yes, you're. You're sexy. You're handsome. You're a go-getter. You're intuitive. Yeah, uh, Emperor, you're going to have choices. You have, again, a lot of eyes on you. You may be sleeping with the boss for some of you guys, but there's an authoritative figure that wants to come in and speak to you as well. That's a business person, um, Aries, Taurus, all right? Divorcee, this person may be a divorcee, older, but this person is self-sufficient. A boss, yeah, Seven of Cups. This person is, this is wishful thinking. This person may have a lot of options. King of Wands, this person is your perfect match. Okay, but then you have a King of Cups. But this person is secretly in love with you. Obsessed with you. Alright. But this person is daydreaming about you. 
okay? They can't get enough of you. They're, you're the best sex that they ever had. That's what I heard, all right? But this person is coming in very authoritative. You're gonna have options. You have a lot of eyes on you. You have a King of Cups, King of Pentacles, and the Emperor, okay? You have a lot of eyes. You're, you're looking very attractive right now and confident. They love your confidence and your boldness, okay? Yes, but definitely unconditional love is coming in for you guys, okay? A soul connection, all right? blessings heading your way a turnaround there's gonna be a turnaround yes your soulmate is definitely coming in this may be a younger older dynamic you guys may you know start off as friends or know each other already with um i do see something online somebody reaching out online like hey what you turn yeah so roblox somebody's trying to like block your you know block you from moving forward but you're going to be moving forward anyway but be careful with you know um conflict okay but follow your intuitions at this time but spirit is saying be careful pay attention pay attention to the red flags okay neptune pisces you may be dealing with a pisces okay but pisces is all about your instincts your dreams your psychic abilities king of swords this may be aquarius Gemini, libra coming in towards you guys but you guys are all you guys are warriors okay you guys are standing your truth speaking your truth some of you guys may be lawyers again military police officer but you guys are taking the lead in your life at this time intelligent yeah okay aligning with your soul tribe this may be a leo but i do see you building your empire with someone and healers out there tower readers healers getting tower readings but again Moving forward with courage. You're very ambitious at this time. Loyal. Okay. Yes. Morals, ethics. But building your legacy, definitely you're going to be aligning with your soul mates. Somebody that's a part of your soul tribe, possibly a Pisces or a Leo. Okay. But be careful with conflicts and pay attention to the red flags. Okay. Let's see who this person is. Be careful with accidents. All right, pay attention to the red flags. Pay attention to the signs. 50s or older, this person may be in their 50s or older. You may be in your 50s or older, but somebody that wants to go over with you. Yeah, confident, they're coming in confident. This may be a Leo. Okay, water sign, this may be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. This person is gonna be emotionally available, very loving, very compassionate, generous. Yes, this person may have a thin body. You may have a thin body, but spirit wants you to let go and release and allow new in. Some of you guys may be going on vacation. Love the color pink. Travel vacation, travel and adventure. You may meet this person traveling or going to see this person. This person may live overseas. I guess something about beauty and fashion. You guys are into beauty and fashion models, okay? But this person may be into beauty and fashion. Um, they're going to match a fly. Yes, this person may have a lot of tattoos or be some type of tattoo artist, piercings. This person is highly intelligent, self-employed. Again, maybe a water sign, a problem solver, highly intelligent person. And they like movie time. I do see you guys going on dates and growing together, social butterfly. This person may be in their 30s, okay, but quiet time. Right now you're isolated, manifesting, going through your transformation. Some of you guys may love to watch movies, but your quiet time, downtime, networking. Yes. But I do see you guys growing together, you and this person. This person is highly intelligent. Highly intelligent. Why is this hair? My hair keeps sticking up. <laughs> Yes, open relationship. Right now, you guys, some of you guys are just getting out of, out of a long-term relationship. Some of you guys don't want any commitment at this time. Just casual dating. Okay, yeah, this person may live a distance, like I said. You're going to travel to see this person, foreigner. Yes, 
building that friendship again nothing serious at this time all right just networking building your team building your friendship starting off as friends traveling like i said new adventures vacation honeymoon engagement this may be a dark person dark male female but beauty queen just definitely a soulmate coming in you're going to be stuck between two people you're going to be dating like i said and beauty queen some of you guys may have three children out there but this person may have three children but then a twin flame is coming in you're gonna have choices but i do i don't see you um uh, hold on guys i'm sorry guys i had to turn off the the heater it's hot okay but beauty beauty front and center center stage i do see you guys some type of performers celebrities out there okay yes but you're gonna be stuck between people open relationship i don't i just see you guys casually dating i don't see you guys but definitely a soulmate Pay attention to the red flags again, okay? Catfishing, because somebody's obsessed with you. You have a lot of eyes on you, but you're a hot commodity right now, <laughs> okay? You're a hot commodity. Very attractive. black magic in reverse so whatever black magic or whatever people trying to do to you is in reverse but i do see a lot of evil eyes on you at this time you turn they trying to make you yeah but abundance is all about your money the money is coming in okay financial blessings all right your blessings are, are coming there's gonna be a turnaround yeah burnout but you see you guys need to rest again overworking yourself or working no life spirit wants you to have a little fun and take some time off Okay, to yourself. Some of you guys may be avid readers out there, but take your time. But luck, definitely luck is on your side. And I do see a soulmate twin flame coming in. Five is all about changes. Okay, ten is about completion, a cycle completing. Yeah, happiness on the horizon for you guys. All right. Yes, the phoenix. This, this is you. Rising from the ashes, your transformation. Yes, you guys may be have been involved in a third party situation okay there were too many people involved but interference in business and love triangle but careful 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 scorpios pay attention to the red flag but what was lost is being restored the end of despair happiness feeling happy about your life feeling on top of the world again mm -hmm. outlook paying attention to your money and how you spend money at this time yeah, the artist. Some of you guys may be like graphic designers, but very creative. Some type of online business. Some of you guys may love black coffee. But all about business. Something online. You're very creative. Yeah. Taking that leadership role. Okay. Mm -hmm. You're going to get recognition and a lot of money. I do see you guys winning awards. Promotions. Yes. Lots and lots of money. Yeah, but destiny. Walking into your destiny. Following your life purpose. Okay, remember who you were. Take the lead in your life. And animals. Some of you guys may be veterinarians, love animals, going through a transformation, the purification process. Some of you guys may need a spiritual bath. Some of you guys, uh, animal, um, Chinese astrology may be the pig. Okay, but connect with your power animal to improve your finances. At this time, what is this? Along here, yeah, but you feel like time you're managing your time wisely, but everything is happening in divine timing with the watch. But there's certain things that you need to let go of first to move forward. Offerings, yeah, what I said, yeah, but making money offerings, you will be offered a new position or investment opportunity. Think about it and research it carefully before accepting it, okay. Pay attention to the red flags. Looking. A lot of eyes on you. You're looking very glamorous, very beautiful. A lot of gold around you. But it's okay to look for better work. Be discreet in your search. You need to be aligned. I am fully aligned with the present. I am fully aligned. So you need to be aligned with your life purpose to be fully satisfied. Yes. And illumination. Things coming to light. Okay. Hidden talents. 
something hidden is coming to light now. You find out about new job, jobs, opportunities, and options. Someone lends you a helping hand, helpful people. But, yeah, your soul tribe. But things coming to light in your life, what you need to let go of, yeah. But, let's continue. Self-care and balance. Meditating, getting aligned with the source. Letting go, releasing, staying prayed up. Taking time, again, take time to yourself. Taking time to replenish your mind, body, and soul is a must. Enjoy this time to reconnect and make yourself a priority. Ask yourself, what is serving me and what is taken from me? What do you need to release? Much can be revealed when you stop putting yourself at the bottom of the list. Okay? Yes. So, less worrying about people, more worrying about you and your health. Right? And maintaining a healthy mindset. Commitment. Commitment. Some of you guys, again, some of you guys may be in a long-term commitment, but you're setting goals. Goals for yourself. So, Spirit wants you to set goals for yourself and accomplish them. Make a checklist. Okay? I am committed to my growth and dreams. I set routines and habits that help me evolve into my fullest potential. Even though I may not see the physical manifestation of my desires, I know they have vibrationally manifested and are on their way to me. Yes, your blessings are on their way. Definitely. Okay? But need to release and gifts. What I said. Lots of lots of gifts. Lots of blessings. Giving and receiving. Sudden windfall. Abundance. Generosity. Helping hand. Promotion. Career. Advancement. Career. Financial support. Work. Surprise. And vacation. So you may have to travel for work or be traveling for work. I do see movement. Okay? But definitely your blessings are coming in. Scorpios, this is your reading. I love you guys. I'm possible. You're possible. Get some rest. I'm out.